Dude, that's pretty good. <laughs> For fishing? Oh, the stalking stick. Yeah. You rest your, your rifle on it. Okay, yeah. When you're out stalking a deer or fuck. Oh! Oh! Technology, eh? Yeah, something like that. There we go. That's gone now. Jeez. Are we going off? Oh, how not, Jim? Not too bad. Reporting for Joey. Reporting for Joey. Alrighty. Thank you. There we go. Morning, everyone. Today I'm so excited for you and for me. Today I'm going to the Banner Rattangan Show. It's the agriculture show that's a 72nd year. Now, obviously, there's a hiatus a bit with the, uh, the pandemic, but we won't talk about that. Um, today it's uh, I'm going to show you all these different events there we're going to show you the horse jumping uh, there's dressage there's um, there's cooking competitions um, there's dog show and there's all sorts of animals and food and and stalls that you can buy all sorts of goodies so we're going to go there and see what it's about taste all the different uh, things that are an offer for you now, speaking of that, and for those of you who have followed my vlog, um, there's, you know, today is day 28 on the uh, lion diet. And quite honestly, it's going really, really very well. Uh, I'm gonna take a break today just for the vlog. And I've decided I'm gonna push it on more than the, uh, the 30 days. Uh, obviously, I'm gonna revert back when I go to uh, Edinburgh next week. So it's a week from uh, tomorrow. I'll be heading to Edinburgh for the weekend. Uh, so I'll stop the diet then as well. But I'm going to keep it up because I'm feeling a lot better. Um, I'm going to put a picture right up here of like a sort of a before picture and after. I've lost the stone weight in uh, the 28 days. And the stone is like 14 pounds for people who don't know. So I've, 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 done, I've lost about uh, six, a little over six uh, kilos. Um, and I feel great, you know. I... Uh, Supposedly I'm not snoring anymore. I uh, don't have acid reflux. And also my aches and pains in my joints, they're all gone away. So I'm going to keep it. So today we're having a fun-filled day. We're going to show you around all the stalls, taste out all the different types of food that's available, show you what it costs. Now the entrance fee was, I'll show you at the beginning there, is uh, uh, we did it electronically. So it was 12 euros each to go. Uh, if you, uh, booked on wine. If you show up on a day, it's 15 euros per person. And they give you this handy little wristbands to show you that you paid. Uh, so if you had to go back to your car and that, you know, they have an interesting little ride that they bring you if you're far, because the car parks get filled up. Now we're here early, so we got one of the closer ones. But if you're in a farther car park, they bring you on this like flatbed with the tractor as a taxi. So that's always interesting too. So, that being said, I'm going to close it off now. We're going to walk around and see what's at offer at the Banner Rattangan Show. So here's a stall that has uh, crepes, strawberries and cream, coffee, here's what you get. Some crepes, breakfast, some sugar and lemon, four euros, jam, honey, four euros, strawberry, sugar and lemon, and then extra toppings, one euro each. So. That's the first place we've seen. So we're gonna walk around this and we're gonna see what they have available. Here's the one with all the hats. So if you come here unprepared and the weather, the weather is nice today, but they said it's supposed to, um, it's supposed to get rainy a bit, chance of showers in the afternoon. So we'll keep our fingers crossed. Right now it's very nice, it's cool. Here's some flowers. 
is where you can get your hurls. For the, if you watch my uh, my GA videos, I showed you the the football and the hurling. Here's a play set for kids. And then some work boots and clothes for... There's where you want a fancy greenhouse. Here's your man selling knickknacks and stuff, like displays. And then we have some more flowers. Here's some more flowers. And this is like a stall. Hey, how's it going? And he's just showing off different things, a bit of everything there. There's hats. That's the way I'm on the lookout for, what are some nice peak hats in that? Uh, I'm on the lookout for some badges and stickers. The badges are for like my, um, my rucksack, my uh, backpack, or stickers for my, I want to decorate the top of my uh, laptop. And uh, also I'm on the lookout for a, a chain a, with a Celtic symbol. So, you know, like if you see your man, uh, you know, Harold Balder, he always has that uh, Thor's hammer on his thing. I want to get a Celtic symbol similar to that so I can have that. Here's the uh, the area where they're going to be jumping a little bit later. We'll show you a bit of that. And then here's some more stalls. So they're all doing great. These are selling picnic benches. And here's hoodies and t-shirts. Hats. There's all toys and tractors and that. Here's some belts. Healing bracelets. There's a physio. Here's some coffee cups, mugs. There's a little coffee stall. We may get a coffee a little later. We just want to get a feel for the place first. Here's some more hats. This gets closed. Like I guess it goes on forever around here. Some genuine farmer sticks. Four euros each. Interesting. And then we have some sweets here. Still getting it set up. Oh, and we're back at the Green Hill place. So we made it through two alleys and there's still way to go. So we're gonna go through this whole place and see what it has to offer. There's the Southeast Radio Van. So they'll be broadcasting live for today on all the events here. Here's some more hats and jackets. So you have the peak hats and the, and the uh, winter hats. Here's some car plates. Wacky snacks. Don't know what wacky snacks are, but... <laughs> Music. That's for support of the Irish Pilgrimage Trust. Number plates for tractors and trucks. And here's a whole bunch of. Oh, we might be in luck. Interesting. I wonder how much these are. Uh, Hiya. How much is the tricolor? They're four euro each. Any three of them for ten euro. Alrighty. Four euros each. 
Yeah, yeah. 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 Very good. I know I can put it in my pocket backpack. It's fine. Keep it nice and clean for you. Okay. Okay. You knew. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Take care. Good luck. Here's a nice chain. So if I can get a Celtic. Symbol on that. So, first purchase down. And then they have a whole bunch of pins here. Oh, these are interesting. And then stickers. Three for one euro. Oh. Okay, so they have a whole bunch here. Now, three stickers for a euro or 20 for 10. I got uh, nine, so that'll, that'll be three euros. So, got a whole bunch, and these will be handy for my laptop to cover the case. And then they have a whole bunch of badges here. Just take a quick look, or pins, I mean. Let's see if there's any. There's all sorts inside there too, so I think I think that'll be it for now there, so I'll get these. Hi there. I'll take these uh ones here. I have the Irish one. I have the Irish one. And I have the uh I have the where I see this gentleman as well, and I have the Easter Lily there as well. Oh have you? There you go. I got the nine of them. Excellent. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Were you up in Carlo selling? At that bike show earlier on the year. So they do have some dry cars here. And then Duff's beer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, if you start looking yeah, in here, it's. You're, you're, oh, yeah, there's lots there. You're going down the rabbit hole, I'm afraid. Ah, very good, very good. All right, thank, thank you very you much. much. <laughs> okay, so. Been here for 15, 20 minutes, and I've already got my stickers and I got a, a patch for my uh, backpack so here's some more here's some wood stuff the stuff for kids and cooking and all sorts of neat stuff here the prices seem to be reasonable here's some more trucks here's some owl sanctuary boxes no, no, that's when you can get the first one in place we've got to get on the way we've got a very busy schedule here today what, uh, very big entries. They're going off there. Tons of sweets. Wonder if they'll spoil in the sun. And then magnet bracelets. And I think some more jewelry of some sorts. Now I'm looking for a Celtic cross. Uh, not a cross. Celtic design. I don't want a cross. Here's some toys and stuff for kids. Woolen shawls. Oh, neighbor. Irish Kidney Association. More sweets. And here's the traditional takeaway. So tea, coffee, cold drinks. And there you can get your burgers and that. <clears throat> it's a little early for uh, a lunch or something, but I haven't eaten yet, but I probably fancy getting a coffee. Here's some neat little helmets and swords and shields for the kids. Here's some uh, knitted sweaters and jumpers for kids. And here we have the inside craft business hall. This, if it's a hot day, you want to get out through the sun or the weather's bad. I've been watching you from a distance as I turn out all the lights 
All I want from you is to listen and remember the good times. If you think of all that we leave out, is that weird you're feeling blue? I know nothing ever turned out as you wanted to. But every time I feel it, every time I breathe, every time I close my eyes, it's coming right back. coffee, ice cream vans. Maybe later in the, the afternoon we'll get one of the, what's called a 99. A 99 is like a, an ice cream cone with a flaky chocolate stuck into it. So it's very traditional in Ireland. And they were called 99 because they used to cost 99p. Um, they're still relatively reasonable here. Here's all miniature Legos, all the little figurines. more knitted stuff, more hats, lots of hats. You wouldn't go astray without a hat if you came to the Banner Rotangan show. Okay, see what they have here. No. No Celtic stuff. And they have tea towels, socks, blankets. Some more hats. Nice Wexford one up there. Spanish Cheerios. That's going to be opened up later. I remember having them in uh, Spain when I was on the Camino. Might uh, chance where I'm at. So I haven't eaten today. I got a big appetite. So I'm going to show you all these different. Look at this Jimmy's baked potatoes. So, baked potato, beef, taco, cheese, sour cream, eight euros. Hey, yours is a bit on the higher end. But, uh, I guess it depends on the size and how much stuff they put on it. Here's if you want to get barber shop. <laughs> That's, I need to get my hair cut. I'm gonna wait on Saturday. And then you have some political parties set up too. There's some uh, perfume. First coffee, and then some more seats. That's a nice, that's a nice picnic bench here with the seats and the cushions in it. Six seat for 1,100 euros. And here's some chainsaws and kids' cars. And then we walk on this side. We're going down to another one. Now we're on K. So here's Wex for preserves. So here they have jams and chutneys and preserves. They're really nice and are established and made in Ireland since 1998. So you get three euros each or two for a fiver. Very reasonable. Like, from what I've noticed so far, the prices on the stocks, it's not that bad. Seaweed company for your skin. Chutney for cheese. Lots of chutneys. And here's some knickknacks and stuff. Picture of the bow ring there. Here's the main street. Wonder of my chances of that. So here's burger and fries. See, they're already open up and doing business. <clears throat> So we will get that once we do that. Good walk around, we'll see what up. And here's some ice cold drinks. And uh, floats. And here's what I was talking about, the old 99s. Here's what a 99 looks like. It's uh, three euros for a 90, 99. So it's a 99 times three. And then we have the good old coffee here. Americano, three euros. And here's an Irish library, a bookstore. They sell in Irish language, of course. Here's an O'Neill's. It says O'Neill's uh, supply the uh, the GA with uh, the the kit, most of the county teams. So <clears throat> you go inside there, they have discount offers on on stuff that's you know going out of print or whatever. Now, normal jersey of a, of a team. Like let's say Wexford right now, 
we get a proper jersey, it's costing like. And ladies and gentlemen, just to announce, the K9 Detect and Find will be in the dog ring starting at 10 o'clock. So if anybody wants to bring their dogs, and the dogs will be there to ring. <clears throat> yes. So that was a. Uh, got yelled over by the loudspeaker, something about the dogs getting. Ready for the dog competition? But a normal jersey, a Wexford jersey, would cost you probably 68, 72 euros in the shop. There you can get them for like 20, 25 euros. So it's at a much reduced rate. And here's some more kit for the GA. You have the slitters, white and yellow ones there. And then they have pearls in the back. And here's some more vintage clothing. What's magic pants? <laughs> And there's another alternative, Body Bro. Body Bro is another option that some clubs use, but it's not taken on by the, the big counties. Here. Here's for your fortunes to be told. Oh, these are cool. Wow. Look at these little chairs. Little cases. That's nice, eh? And here's some more. Lots of clothes. And here's where I'm getting ready with lights and tools, I'd say. Burgers and fries. So they're all going to be kicking going in a little later once we get up and running. So it's uh, 10 o'clock now. Some tractor, what are on right on lawnmowers? And they're getting into the big stuff, I'd say. And there's another political party. And there's another one. So you see, they're in competition. Glen Fuels. So look at these. These are in good nick. Jeez, I wonder what that's for. I have no clue about farming equipment, so I'm not a person to, to be a guide, but I'd say they're all big and expensive. Look at them all. All sorts of little different gadgets. Look at this thing. I guess that's to dish out grain or seeds or I don't know. Look at this yoke. You want to be careful when you're farming, eh? Get caught in one of those blades, you'd be done for. Please look at that in the back. Look how complicated that looks. Wouldn't have a clue. There's some more food. Like you see the amount of food stalls. Because later on, like it's still early, but around 12, 1 o'clock, the place will be thronged. It needs to be all queued up. But we're going to get I'm getting to the point where I need my... Uh, cup of coffee first we'll take a break and then I'll wait until it gets running up again and uh, we'll show you more about it there's lots and lots to see we have the dog show the horse jumping uh, we'll look at the you know the different competitions they have 
Here's another. Here's some animals. Here we go. I knew there was going to be animals. Let's take a look. Here's some sheep. What was your stay watching it? What was the sheep in Father Ted? Hello. Oh, hello. Hello. They're not very uh, afraid of people. They all jump. There's a ram with the like the horns on that one there. Some all sheep in this area. There's more of them. He was good. Some more farming machinery. So these are all for competitions. They all get awarded for prizes. Here's some like dairy cows. Some little ones. Just a reminder again that the K9 detective find is in. And there's some more up here. We'll go through these animals and then that'll be the, uh, the stop of it. Look at that one, that's a nice one. He's enjoying his breakfast. So she's bursting for a few milk. Yeah, so there was the cows and sheep and that, and the horse there, we see. Now we'll see them in action and the dressage, and then we have the uh, dog show coming up too. So now we'll just stop for a little while, and uh, I'm gonna get something to eat. And when I, well, maybe not eat, just get a coffee. When I get eat, when I eat stuff, I'm gonna be putting it on the vlog, and I'll show you what it is that offer, what's it taste like, and the price. Here's sizzling snacks. And then here's some more farming machinery. And then these are the yolks that they put on the uh, teats of the cows to milk them. Here's a little Mr. Softy. So this is for uh, ice creams. Here's a cow that you can actually hold on to. This one doesn't move. Sorry? <laughs> this cow doesn't move. Great, great coat. Here's a good coat. picture. <laughs> get up on it there. I know. No, if I got up there, I wouldn't get on there. 
You can. I go on. I don't wear any clothes. Putting a hand on my weight. It's only uh... a. <laughs> horse boxes for sale. You see them all over uh, Ireland uh, driving around. Ireland's known for a lot of uh, horse racing. Very big in horse racing. Here's the jumps so you can have it at home to practice. For This is for more for the, uh, the show jumping. Here's some saddles. The harnesses. All sorts of stuff for the horses. Here's some more tag boots and all that, all to do with horse jumping. There's a baby changing area and toilets. So here's some uh, here's the little kids doing jumping. We'll see what the jumping is later, but jumps and then you go down the other end we'll go there later and there'll be higher jump areas here's the medical center doctor and the vet so you have to take care of both the two-legged people and the four-legged so we have yes. one. all the trophies the ring one that one the ring one the blue bear the ring one and here's where and the also uh, we have Here's where the dog show will be later. The dog show is at 1.30. These are different events that they have for finding and stuff like that, they said. We'll come back for the 1.30 show and see parts of that. So we've gone pretty much full circle because here's the uh, gelato. And you can see the people streaming in now. It's starting to get busier. So these are the bigger boys jumping. Okay, jumping one times on ten and a half point nine six. There he is. Oh, one fell there. And then there's some little ones on the back there. All over, so you can see what it's about. We'll just walk around here. And also there's been a first found on the straw field that can be collected in the secondary chain. First of all, 10 euros each. That's not bad actually. for my uh Just the uh, the pin. 
I don't pin yet. Yeah. Your horse, is it? Yeah. So there we go. Got myself a pin to go with the collection. So happy days. They have all sorts of stuff here. Some uh, magnets too. Okay, I'll get a. Oh yes. I'll get a magnet as well. Yeah. Two fifty. Thank you very much. Here's a big sweet display. Three for a fiver, two euros each for those. stuff sticks to your teeth great with chocolate on it though I still love crunchies crunchies were my favorite now here's a bunch of uh, pins and you got a place to wash your hands and that with something that's cool and yeah, these are interesting. Look at these. They're urinals, stand-up urinals. So if you have to do a number one, you just go around your spot. You don't have to use the, uh, the inside ones. Very handy. These are nice ones, eh? A 5P at the top. Hi, how are you? Good boy, good. Always give the good side out. That's it. These are neat, eh? Riding hands. Pat Walsh, stick maker. Adam's down. Stick for all occasions. What are those ones for? I've seen those around for Call fishing. Call a stalking stick. Yeah. You rest your, your rifle on it. Okay, yeah. I was stalking a deer or fox or whatever. Oh, okay. I wasn't, I wasn't sure what they are. And then the shorter ones are called the thumb stick. Okay. Just for walking with the, your thumb in the stick. Yeah. It gives you great support. Oh, okay. Oh, whistles and all. That's, in, that's interesting. Oh, these are nice. They're all, all hang out. And what is it, bone? Deer antler. Deer antler. Wow, yeah. look at that one with the uh, the eagle and the, uh, the Indian, Indian head. Old. Wow, very nice. What are the prices of these? Like just they start at thirty. Yeah. And these? at the minute they are seventy-five. Seventy-five. And Sixty. And the least of these then go from one hundred and forty up to five hundred. Five hundred. Wow. The, the horse like that would get five hundred. Yeah. A lot of work in them. I'd hate to break it. You know, you wouldn't be able to use it, would you? More show stick than Yeah, because you know. you'd be afraid to break the, it. The stock is 60. 60. Yeah. The top one with the whistle is 50. And the twisties, national twist, they're 80. 80. All right. Very good. And the smaller ones, the riding sticks and stuff, or what are they around? It'll be 60, 40, 20. And then the manor sticks are 40. These are, uh, I call them talking sticks, but to be sh a show cane. Yeah. No. All right. Jeez, this is like a cudgel. <laughs> yeah, a matter of state. Wow. Keep that in your uh, your car by your feet. Beside the bed. Or beside the bed. <laughs> <laughs> wow, very nice. Thank you. No problem. Let's go inside here. Let's see what's going on here. Like I said, there's all sorts of stuff here. So here's flower show. So these are for all for competitions. So they have all different flower arrangements and pots. Here's cookery ones with pies and desserts. More flowers. Cupcakes, some more 
flowers. These are all under 13 years old that I make these. Okay, and then what do you have? Photography. So then there's people that do photography and they put up their photos and they get judged. So it's, it's a bit of everything. That's very cool. So it has a bit of everything for everyone, really. And here's even straw, like different types of straw, types of corn. So everything gets judged, and there's awards for all of these. Like I said, a bit of everything, eh? Oh, and we got here. You can't have an Irish agriculture show without the uh, jams. And you have the skulls. It's a different, different jams. Farm weights. And skulls. Banana bread. Orange loaf. Oh. Number 37. Oh, that's good. Soda bread. There's a few retirees already. Wholemeal loaf. 155 looks good. What's your. Uh, oh, here we are. Burger and fries. Hey Tom, how's it going? Good. Good yourself. Oh, it's a great day for it, anyway, isn't it? The rain. I think the rain's back. It is the hats. So is mine hat. See, I like my hat. Yeah, no, it's a good day for it. Hopefully the rain stays away, anyway. Yeah, but I think it is. Yeah. Uh, right now. I'm yeah, been here long. Uh, we came at about a little after nine. Oh yeah. Pretty I can also use it as a helmet. <laughs> oh, pushing, it. Big pushing for you. Yeah, no, it's good. Nice to pose around anyway. Yeah. We're only here last 10 15 minutes now, but. Yeah. Just having a look around with them now. And... Oh, seems to be a good crowd. Yeah, it's yeah. good now. Yeah. Good, all right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I go on with them. I'll talk to you later. Take care. See you, Tom. Hey. Yeah, how you doing? Good, you? Good, good, good. Here's Wally from the Red Books. <laughs> Hello. How's it, how's it going? It's good. It's the weather's good. nice. Just, the weather's great. Um, it's just really kicking off now. Yeah. Crowds are starting to come in. Um, the events are starting to to go off. So yeah, it's good. Yeah. It's good. Nice vibe here. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I like coming here. I've been here in about four years, so yeah, I figured I'd take the plunge, come in, yeah, show what yeah. it's like. Yeah, that's a unique event. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, we're doing the hot chip challenge later on. Oh, the hot chip challenge? <laughs> yeah. Where, oh, is, where is it? Here? i show you. You know Sharon and Lucy? No, I don't think so. Wacky Snacks. Hello. Wacky Snacks. Where the are Wexford's they from? Wexford's newest sweet shop. Where is it? Online. Uh, online. Yeah. Online, okay. We're based in Wexford Town. Yeah. Wacky but Snacks. But you could have an exclusive. I know they're opening a shop. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> are they? No. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, this is the, uh, oh, this is the chips. This is the hot chip. Is that where you have to put it in and keep it in for five minutes? Is that it? Yeah. I think you have to see how long you can make it without drinking anything. Yeah, I think I've seen somebody do this and they had to keep it in for five minutes. Um, I haven't tried to it. get it. So that's one fifty. Thanks very much. Eleven ninety five. I know. <laughs> so for one chip, twelve euros to put yourself in for hardship and pain. Oh, but they have all these go. different ones. Thank you. Wow. I don't know if I'd be into that. I like hot food though, but I don't know about... Yeah, I like hot food too, but yeah. it might be a bit much. <laughs> yeah, Wally will try it, so... 
Yeah, yeah. Wally's gonna try it. We'll video him and put it up on the website. So. Yeah. So when are you gonna do it, Wally? I'll come back and I'll film you. Oh, that'd be great. Uh, yeah. Probably towards but, the well later on. I'd say, cause yesterday they I said there's a risk I'll have a heart attack, so we'll probably <laughs> leave until about three o'clock then. <laughs> Hopefully I'm still here because we were yeah, here since night. But come back before you go. Before I go. Okay. We'll do it then. We'll okay. Do it you come so back. now we have it here. So before we leave, we're gonna come back here. And Wally from Red Books, which is in Wexford Town. So if you want to see my Wexford, uh, my Wexford Town vlog, it's in that. And also, I think the uh, the opera, the opera weekend there, that was in there as well. So Wally's going to try the hot chip challenge. How many Scovilles does it say? Does it? Two, 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 two. I thought they said it on there. Anyways, Wally's going to try it, and we'll see how it goes. So stay tuned for that, see how that gets on. Uh, yeah. These are cute little books, eh? I've seen, um, I think it was, uh, it was uh, Luke Demont. Got one in, I think it was India? He had one of those books with the stone in it made up for him. <laughs> Lots of jellies. Tons of jellies. Maybe I'll get some later. We'll come back. Yep. What do you recommend? Quarter pounder? Yeah, okay, give me one of those with cheese there. Quarter pounder with cheese? Yeah. So we're gonna get a quarter pounder with cheese. And we'll probably have to get a drink, so we'll see if they have a Coke Zero. Yeah, I have a YouTube channel. Showing off for Tang and Joe. I've done all of Wexford and heading to Scotland next week. So. Scotland? Yeah. Okay, hey, can I have a Coke Zero bottle? Oh, okay. Just a Coke Zero. We'll go find a place to uh, test out this uh, boiga. Okay, let's see how we're gonna do this. This will be harder than I thought. Here's the burger. I got my drink. Let's see what it's like. It's not bad, well cooked. So I'm gonna sit here and eat my burger and drink the Coke. I'm gonna listen to some music being played with the. Uh, it's lovely. Okay, so turn it off now and I'm gonna have some to eat. So the burger was, cheeseburger was uh, tasty. It was, uh, had the works on it. For six euros, it's not bad for the day that's in it. And uh, Coke Zero was refreshing. I still have the rest of the bottle, so we're just gonna walk around and see what else we can find. So we're gonna hit up the, uh, I'd say the, uh, the fruit cups would be nice, the uh, strawberries with cream. Um, 
We'll see. We're going to walk around a bit more and see if we can catch up with uh, Emily for a bit. So I'll be turning it off for a while until I find something else to eat. This all drinks to heroes. It's a whole different place I haven't seen. I miss this. Look at the size of those cookies. They're just massive yolks, eh? There's all sorts. I missed this. Hey, Mark. Yeah. How are you getting on? Good, you? Not too bad. Free sausages, sure. Free sausages, <laughs> yeah. Right up my street, so it is. <laughs> are you vlogging today? Yep. Is that to resemble you? Yeah, that's it. Mm. No, it's uh. There you go. <laughs> Mark's a uh, good old Mary's man now. Yeah. How are you keeping? Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. I'm heading to uh, Scotland, uh, Edinburgh next weekend. Very nice. And then. About two months to go to Nepal for a month. Class. Are you climbing? I'm doing the uh, the Wang Tang trek. All right. And then I'm um, going to be all you're over the country. So. You're not going up Everest, no? No. Everest a little bit much. Even the base camp. I think a base camp will be the next time. Yeah. Because that's, like, even, even the Wang Tang trek, you're going up to almost 4,800 meters. Nice. I did... Uh, Ben Nevis last year, yeah, yeah, and that's only 13:45, and that was hard enough. That was tough, like yeah. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that fair play. But, uh, yeah, so. it'll be an experience any of you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So at least the weather's nice. Yeah. yeah. And it's something. This is something different, you know. Like exactly. The Americans and that, and the Canadians and that, wouldn't really have something like this. Like this so. yeah, yeah. Either us townies, we wouldn't have this either. No, so yeah. we wouldn't. Well, you're you're a, you're a, you're a Castle Bridge guy, aren't you? No, I'm town. Yeah, but originally, aren't you? No, no. No, always down. No. Oh, yeah, that's Hard right. Work. You're Conard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Those are cool, eh? Wow. There's more in the air side. destroyed by the time I go but yeah might have to come back for those oh and then we have the uh, strawberries and berries and cream Ooh. that looks good yeah I definitely miss this how's it going lovely day yeah Supposed to be raining. It was, uh, it was supposed to be raining all week, but then they yeah. keep pushing it out. Yeah, it's all now good. they say in the afternoon, yeah, so. Yeah, it's all good, it's all good. Enjoy, Jamie. Either Rihanna or. Would you like to try some healthy chocolate? Huh? Right. Would you like to try some healthy chocolate? No, I want some unhealthy chocolate. No, no, just joking. What I do you have? I have only healthy ones. Only healthy ones? Yeah, I forgot to put the sugar and milk in them. <laughs> it's 100% dark chocolate. No sugar, oh, yeah? no milk, no preservatives. Yeah. Sure, I'll try one. Yeah. Uh, you like uh, berries, nuts? Uh, berries or nuts, either one. Yeah? Yeah. So free to try. Nuts, raisins. Raisins. You know the fizalis, orange berry yes. that goes in decoration. I eat those all the time. Try them in 100% dark chocolate. All right. Uh, problem with them, they're dangerous, could be addictive. Oh, yeah. 
Mm. And then I also have fully organic medjool date with macadamia nut and fizzal is coated in 100% dark chocolate. Mm. It comes with, with the berries. What the berries do? And which berries are these? Are these That's the, the fizzalis. Yes. And what you tried is the fizzalis in 100% dark chocolate. Mm. Oh, very good. Yeah, I like these. Those are very good. I don't like them. I love them. Yeah. yeah. How much are these? Just so you know. So, um, the Neves Organic Neves, uh, that's from uh, what I make in the chocolate. It's 6 euro. The Fizales in chocolate, 9 euro. Fig in chocolate, 10 euro. Uh, raisins, 7. Uh, the jewel dates are 13 euro. Almonds, 9 euro. Hazelnuts, 10 euro. Okay, not too bad. Well, there's the prices there. Yeah? Oh, very good. Thank you. Very good. Very tasty. Donuts. Three fifty each. Four for twelve. Uh, let's try to make our way out of here now. into the, uh, the fun ride area. Let's see what this is. Okay, duck. Well, they wouldn't want to win a goldfish. You must be this tall to ride, so I think we're okay. This is all the bouncy castle one for kids. And that's for kids as well. That's the only one that seems doable. But it's not working now. Okay, so here's the churros. They're seven euros. Seven euros for an order. Puts it in the matter and he scoops it out. Would you like plain or cinnamon sugar? Plain sugar with chocolate. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers. So, seven euros for the churros. So, here's what they look like. Not the same as the ones we had in Spain, you know, but they're good. They're like donuts. So, now I'm going to let them cool down just a bit. Just a little bit and then we'll give it a shot. Probably go to the same place where we sit and say listen to some music. Here's your man getting our haircuts. It's an odd place to get haircuts in the middle of the flag show, but and then we'll I'm gonna put it on hold now and find a place to sit and eat. Alrighty. So I found a spot to sit at. Take out my Coke Zero. Churros here. Let's see what they're like. Here's what it looks like here, covered in chocolate. Mm. It tastes like chocolate. 
Churros done. Um, I didn't eat them all. There was two left over. It's just too filling. Um, you know, I think a smaller portion for like a fiver would have been more of the option, but you know, they were tasty enough. Very sweet, but uh, very filling. So now we're just going to try to get around to the, the fun rides, but the tea shop is here, which is like the leader of Ireland. So it's going to be hard to get by here, so... wonder if we can get around. See the crowds now, eh? It's a lot busier now that we're approaching 12 o'clock. I want to go on that ride, see if I get on that ride. I said that would be a good crack. It says tokens only. Where do you get tokens? So, we're gonna give it a shot. There's there. It says tokens, but I think people are just paying as they get on, so I'm not sure what it is, so I'll keep it 20 in my pocket. Give it a shot. <laughs> This might not be a good idea just after the churros and the uh, cheeseburger, but we'll give her a go. It's coming up to stop now. say I feel like I'm 25 maybe 30 
but I don't feel uh, like I'm going on 57. It's a fair ride. You do feel a little dizzy, <laughs> to be fair. There's my bag still there. So that wasn't too bad. You are, you are a little dizzy getting off, I have to admit. I'm just gonna crack my bag here. Fiverr's not bad though. So if you come into the, the Coag show, Man of Tangan, make sure you check it out. And away we go. So that was a good crack. Now I'm going to uh, pretty much showed you everything. The bar, the uh, the dog show, which is at 1:30. So I'm going to turn it off right now. Try to hook up with Emily for a bit, and then we'll watch a bit of the dog show, and then we'll see if uh, if Wally can uh, take on the uh, that hot crisps challenge. Little hater. Now, now it's time for some strawberries. We had some strawberries and cream. I think, I think it's uh, five, or, five or six zeros. We'll see when we get there. Yes, strawberries and cream? Yep. I have no honey cream. You have no cream? No. Okay, then just strawberries then. Yep. Is there spoons or? Oh, thank you. Okay. So fiber for the strawberries, no cream. Pretty early to be running out of cream, but maybe they're going to get some more. Let's try to go back in and find a place to sit. Chill out here and we'll enjoy strawberries and cream. Put that up there like that. And there we go. So five euros for a pundit of strawberries now. Usually you get two for like six euros, like a big basket, but. Now, they are good. The ones you get in the stores from the hydroponics, they're not as tasty as this. It's so yummy. Sweet. Mm. Very good. Definitely worth the fiber. Better than the churros. That was very good. Definitely worth it. Not only sweet and that, but it's also refreshing. It has a sweet flavor, but really, really nice. I'm really happy with that. Now I'm gonna find myself to the, uh, the bathrooms. Go for a slash, and then we'll see what else we can get up to. Good boy. Okay. 
it's hard on pumping down and do that. Second, he's yeah. there. Yeah. Oh, this one did well. Yeah. I think the sheep dog over here or the puppy. Okay, so that was the first class. Now there's 13 different classes, so I'm not gonna stay for all 13 of them, but it gives you an idea of what, what it's like. And actually, I think it's starting to spit rain a bit, so we're gonna make our way back towards the rest of the thing, and I'll maybe see if I can meet uh, Wally to do that uh, Chris, hot crisp challenge. We'll see what that goes. I, I'm still... I'm not 100% sure it's going to be as bad as they tell me it is. Yeah. That's a confidence there. <laughs> I just thought this was a lovely class. Oh, they look nice. Thank you. You do that. So we're at Wacky Snacks and Red Books. Where the owner of Red Books, Wally, he's going to attempt to challenge the uh, the spicy chip basically so yeah. 11.95 I think for the the chip so it's a little on the pricey side we'll see how he gets on with it so there's the hot chip challenge well he's gonna see how long he can uh, withstand the heat He's got a bottle of water there just in case. He needs three liters of milk. Yeah, the liters of milk are probably better, but so she's opening it up. Now you get these from wackystacks.com, so it's a uh, it's all online. There you go. Any last words? There you go. Hot chip challenge. There you go. He gets a sticker. He gets a sticker. There you go. <laughs> Any last words? <laughs> you even get a glove. Oh, you get a glove to put it on. Oh, here we go. R.I.P. I'm gonna photograph this. Let's watch. Let's see. Is that guy going to eat them over there? Oh my God. Oh my God. There's even. Here, would you take a few pictures? Any last words? Any last words? Let's put it on the glove. Can't even get the glove on. You'll only eat the chip. I, I think this is this is overboard now having to wear a glove to eat a chip. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see. Where's the chip? There it is. That's it. R.I.P. Thank you. Jesus. You're gonna need that water. You're gonna need it. You think so? Yeah. And the fizzy jelly. We've got a fizzy jelly ready for you. Oh, Jesus. Let's see. There we go. <laughs> All right. All right, Wally, I'm going to recommend you. You, you put me in a difficult position oh. here now, but <laughs> do I have to eat the whole thing? You yeah. should sit down no, for you. Yeah. yeah. Eat the whole no. thing. Yeah, the whole yeah. thing and hold it. Okay. And see how long you hold it. Oh, he's sitting down. Ah. I don't know, is that cheating? <laughs> there we go. There we go. Hey, what put you in for two minutes off? It's picking in. Is it? Oh, it's picking in. Already? <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> I wouldn't um I wouldn't recommend them as a light snack. 
time to get the ambulance. <laughs> you won't be getting a snack, share snack size. Well, yeah, that's, that's pretty hot. <laughs> On a scale of 1 to 10. You're not even red. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's hot. <laughs> oh man, the tongue is uh, on fire. No, no I have to no, hold off on. for at least a minute. Oh, 30 minutes. Okay. I think it's 5 minutes. <laughs> yeah, 5 minutes for you. Wow. Are you dead? How's the tongue looking? Uh, yeah, well. <laughs> it looks like it's flaming. Did you eat the whole thing? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't leave. <coughs> I don't leave leftovers. <laughs> I might want to start now for now. Okay. You're gonna get sick? I might. No, I'm not. <laughs> There's the hiccups. Wow. Yeah. Oh, uh, <laughs> you gave up with the water. Nearly two minutes. No, two minutes? Two minutes. Yeah. Wally, put that on your tongue. Hold That'll up. help. Okay. It'll help. The sugar will help. Melt wow. will help for a That's... few minutes. <laughs> Take the glove off without. Melt well, fair play to Wally for giving it a shot. It lasted two minutes. Would you have been able to make it to five? Do you think? No. No. <laughs> so if you want, if you want to have your own uh, hot chip challenge, just uh, wackysnacks.com and you can order it and uh, give it a shot. Oh well. Congrats, Wally. Thanks for that. And that'll be on the vlog. If I have the heart attack, you'll have to come back and film it. <laughs> All right. Okay, so that was the Banner Rotangan show. So I'm heading out towards the car park now. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit the uh, the like button. It helps with the algorithm. And make sure you uh, subscribe for my channel. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. Um, it was an enjoyable day. So hope you enjoyed it all. Uh, let me know any comments. Uh, stay tuned for next week. Next week I'm heading to uh, heading to Edinburgh at. Uh, 5.45 on the Friday morning. So we're going to be in 6 o'clock in the morning. We'll be in Edinburgh for the weekend till late Sunday night and see what I get up to there. So make sure you subscribe. Again, hit that bell button so that you get notified for when my vlogs get uploaded. Thanks. Here's the uh, Kalaig uh, taxi. People get on there. It's a tractor and it brings them to the car park. So you can see. Just you load it up and then they head down. And there's the one that's coming up with the people from the car park so you can see even the time like we've been here for since nine o'clock this morning it's uh probably about i don't know 2 and they're still coming in so and there's the the bano retankin taxi and there's some kids going back with their horses the ponies and there's all the horse carriers so